Beatrix Potter created thousands of artworks in her lifetime, from the charming but sometimes naughty rabbits and mice in her little books, to fungi studies of immense detail and accuracy. In about 1892, Beatrix created a set of paintings in watercolour and ink called The Rabbit's Christmas Party. Four of these paintings are now held in the Victoria and Albert Museum and can be seen on its website. The first painting is The Arrival, showing five rabbits in blue coats and with some carrying umbrellas, just in front of the home where the party is being held. There's snow on the ground and one of the rabbits is about to announce their arrival by using the door knocker but the hosts already know they've arrived. If you look closely, you can see one rabbit peeping behind the neck curtain, and the ears from two of the rabbits can be spotted above the curtain as well. Then we have the meal, also known as Christmas dinner. Here the rabbits are shown at a long table with crisp white napkins tied around their necks while they tuck into their dinner. I wonder what they're eating. Well, there are a lot of cabbages on the floor in the foreground of the painting, so maybe roasted cabbages stuffed with carrots. Next, there's a painting after the meal or roasting apples. Some of the rabbits are relaxing in front of the fire while their hostess is roasting apples for their dessert. Two of them look asleep, and who hasn't done that after eating a Christmas dinner? There are holly garlands on the wall, and it all looks very cosy and comforting. But of the four paintings, it's the final one, The Departure, that is my favourite. It's the soft, subtle lighting from the candle that first drew me to this picture. It's so atmospheric. Look how Beatrix has created the shadows on the wall and shown the movement of the rabbits, where one is putting on their coat before braving the cold and snow outside. Then there are the pretty pale blue ribbons at the necks of the smaller rabbits, saying goodbye too and receiving a parting kiss from one of the larger rabbits, maybe an aunt or uncle. The colours in this are very muted, but you can still see the shading and the detail in the rabbit's fur. It looks so soft. I think they are wonderful examples of Beatrix's great artistic skills. These paintings contain none of the jeopardy which feature in some of her tales, and they leave me with a feeling that all is well in this imaginary world.